Truth Ministry Changes Trump-Afghanistan Peace Treaty to Biden Plan. This is a topic report, and the topic is Trump-Afghanistan Peace Treaty Becomes Biden Peace Plan. The Ministry of Truth has basically going to change history for you, right, before you very honest. It's kind of like what they're doing, in some sense, is kind of like Donald Trump is kind of like Hatshepsut of Egypt. Now, Hatshepsut was a woman who fit outside of the mold of the orthodox view of who could be potentially a pharaoh. In her case, just her being a woman. And this is basically anti anti uh, competitivism is what it really undermines all of underlies all of this. And the, the idea here is to create standards that eliminate as much pos- competition as you possibly can. So Hatshepsut, not only was she a pharaoh, but she's maybe maybe one of the greatest pharaohs of Egypt. She would have been, if she would have man, was a man, she would have been called Hatshepsut the Great. I'm sure of that because she did phenomenal, phenomenal things uh, such as you can under under the state type of gov- the, the coercive enterprise governance model. But they needed to not have that precedent exist that someone outside of their political orthodoxy could actually gain power and rule to some degree effectively. I'm not saying whether Trump ruled effectively or not, but certainly significant portions of political people believe he did. And he is like, in a way, Hatshepsut, except instead of his, he's not a woman, but his problem is not that he was a woman, because he's not a woman. His problem is that he came from well outside the established path to become a political leader to become a president not just that he was a billionaire and he didn't go through the political system but that he was a billionaire that espoused views that were fundamentally opposed to the political orthodoxy of both political parties that well i mean it's it's essentially it's it's been corporate nationalist for a while and he's been fundamentally he's trying to revise the notion of nation statism uh, rather than corporate nationalism. And that's re- re- really, they have to get rid of them. So they have to get rid of all efforts. So what they did with that Shepsit is they chiseled out her face. And so what they're doing with the news is they're chiseling out his face. And these are some of the headlines here. America does not need to fight forever war. Schumer praises Biden's choice to pull troops out from Afghanistan by September 11th. Now, this is a, a title by the Daily Caller. Uh, from Politics USA, this is a left-leaning site, and this is one of the worst. Not the worst, but one of the worst. Barack Obama praises Joe Biden's decision to get out of Afghanistan. There you go. There, the, the, the Ministry of Truth is uh, going to convince you and help that you forget that this was Trump that did this. And when he did it, the entire left, the, the entire establishment left was against it, thought he was crazy. And the entire establishment right was also against it. And Lindsey Graham, to his credit at least, He's still opposed to it even. Well, I guess not really to his credit. I'll say to his credit, he did oppose it under Trump, and now he opposes it under Biden as well because Lindsey Graham never met a war he didn't want to fight, although not him personally. Your children, not him. Biden tells U.S., time to end America's longest war in Afghanistan from News24.com. Just just, let's just forget that Trump, Trump was the one. Biden tells U.S. time to end America's longest war in Afghanistan. I already read that, News24. From news.yahoo.com, Blinken in Afghanistan to sell Biden troop withdrawal. And then we have White House previews Biden plan to fully withdraw troops from Afghanistan by September. And this is from Talking Points Memo. Kind of tepid as far as the left sites are concerned. CBS praises Biden's Afghan withdrawal, discounted Trump's peace deal for it. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Newsbusters is pointing it out that, that this is what they're doing. They're head-shepsitting uh, Donald J. Trump. That, at least that's what they're trying to do because it's, it's, he's, he fits out, outside of the orthodox mold. Uh, uh, state nation, well, nation statism has, has been dead in America since George Bush the first took power and made a deal with the CIA devil and and then they made a deal with the Chinese devil and that's what empowered the, the corporate nationalists. That's what caused the rise of corporate nationalism in America. And Donald J. Trump came along and says, no, 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 let's reboot. So let's erase that. Let's erase that evidence altogether. 
The only thing that they'll remember is the hideous things that Donald Trump did, and he did plenty of those too. So they'll highlight those, and they'll highlight all the quote-unquote good things that he did. MSNBC, oh, by the way, they'll do many of the same hideous things that he did. They just will hide it when they do it. MSNBC demands expert explain himself for hitting Biden on Afghanistan withdrawal. This is from Newsbusters again. And then from Politics USA again, Biden says it wasn't a hard decision to remove U.S. troops from Afghanistan. Well, especially because Donald Trump already made the peace deal, but the Ministry of Truth wants to pretend that that didn't happen because reasons. Yep, that's the uh, DNC. That's the party of equality and justice for all right there. Mm -hmm. You should never trust anyone that uh, is willing to change history for you especially when they're willing to change history so soon to when it happens one thing to change history from 20 years ago but this is history from just a, a year or two ago that is bold that is, that is a that is a political machine that imagines that it has godlike power in the land and it imagines that it has it because in large part it does <laughs>